In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add custom colors to your swatches panel. And if you're unfamiliar with what the swatches panel is, it is located with this icon here, and it's essentially your color palette. So supposing I've mixed a new custom color over here. So supposing I've mixed this sort of gray blue color, and I want to use it throughout my whole project. Now typically I'd have to keep referencing it back and forth with the color picker and selecting the same color over and over again and that can take quite a lot of time. So to save a bit of time what you can do is just select your color and then you can add it to your swatches. And there are two ways of doing this. So the first way is just to go to this menu here and just click add swatch. So if I go to my swatches panel you'll notice there's a little shelf down here and my color has been added. So what you can do now is just select it whenever you want and then I'm just going to get my brush tool and you can just use it and it's really convenient. And the second way of adding your color is just to have your color selected and just click and it will add it really quickly. So I can just add some custom colors just like this, it's super simple. And to delete a color from your color palette you just select it, go to this menu here and just click delete swatch. So right now as it stands, these custom colors are only saved to this file. So if I make a new flash file or I open an existing flash file, these won't be there. But what you can do is just go to the menu again and you can save colors and this saves your current color palettes and custom colors and you can load them in a future flash file. Or what you can do is if you're really happy with your custom color set, what you can do is just go save to default. So that means whenever you open up a new flash file, these will be the default colors there. So it just basically allows you to save a lot of time by just having all your favorite colors there to select it when you want them and it just makes the workflow a lot easier. And so for the moment, I'm just gonna reset these and I'm gonna go to low default colors. So my color palette has been completely reset to my default colors. All right, so I hope you found this tip useful. And as always, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe.